So welcome to my front garden tour on a bit of a windy, wet day here in October. And the whole idea of the front garden is that it's evergreen, so it looks good all year round because you pass it every day, leaving the house and coming back every day. And you see it through the kitchen window as well. So I want it to look good all year round. And the development we've had this year is the fact that we've extended the driveway a little bit here. So you can see that new addition, that curved area. I've just done that myself with the help of my father-in-law. Thank you. And we've done this, obviously, for the car parking space. And it's meant we've had to reduce the planting area. But we've still got a decent planting bed around this area. And I did have to dig up a lot of bamboo, which was all over this area, and knock down that wall as well. So that wasn't an easy task. And I'll do, I'll show you what this area looked like before the work started. And again, obviously you can see this, how it looks now. Hopefully the wind will stop soon, so you can hear me a bit clearer. So this is Phyllostachys vivax auricolis here. Nice bamboo with bright yellow stems. And it does spread about, but it's contained by the wall and the road and obviously my paving area here but it has spread towards the other plants behind it which we'll have a look at now so from the front you can see i've got a tetrapanax up here i've also got a trachycarpus palm behind it as well and the tetrapanax has pupped all over so we've got loads of pups all over here as you can see they've come up here They've come up here and I've taken off loads as well. And the palms in this front area, we've got this nice Canary Island date palm, Phoenix canariensis, which is growing nice. It's well over three metres tall. And that's been out since 2018 or 2017, so about five years now. It doesn't get protected in winter, but if we look at the base, be careful of the big sharp spines. We've got a decent base on that now. You can't see it because it's covered in all the bamboo leaves, but it's quite wide at the base now. And that's doing well. I do wrap up, I think I put toggles, rope around the leaves before the winter storms and before any snow comes. But that's the only protection it gets. And here we've got some aloe striatulas, a nice clump there. And a nice clump there that moved from the back garden a couple of years ago. Took loads of cuttings off that and it's just bulking up again nicely now. Here I've got a small Trachycarpus ulcrahensis, which we will need moving eventually if it bulks up. The idea was this would take over from the Phoenix palm, which isn't super hardy. So probably this will die if we get a very cold winter. And then this palm can take over, but we'll see how that goes. So far it's got through five winters of Phoenix, so it might it might get to its full potential and it gets huge if it does and it will take over this area. It'll probably come out onto the driveway, so I have to cut the leaves back if that happens. So that's a Phoenix palm and it's very healthy. It's not being fed really apart from a bit of blood fish and bone in spring, but it's really, really healthy green leaves, even the oldest leaves are still very green so very happy plant here gets a bit of protection from the bamboo other than that it gets pretty much full sun all day and to the left of it we have a very nice palm i've had for a very long time it's one of my most popular videos of how to pot a palm tree this is jubea chilensis which has grown to a good size now this was only a very small plant and if we go down, excuse the shadows, look in here, you can see it's got a nice little trunk developing. Big, strong, thick leaves as well. It's pushed out many this year. That's a good, strong palm and it's got space to develop. So that's looking good. And then here we've got a yucca restrata, which is more than tripled in size. It's about six foot tall now two meters and it's actually got a pup developing around the base if we just go around 
we can see the light's not great is it because of the strong sunlight and the big shadows but there's a pup down there so that is a big big wide yucca strata and it's on a slight slope this front garden does slope down a bit and look at that full sun beautiful bluish green leaves and it's got leaves all the way down to the base as well really nice wide plant quite hard to show you one on screen but that's well over a meter maybe more wide and two meters tall so that's the front that you see here and behind that we've got some other plants so i'll just show you those don't often show these in the front garden so i thought it well worth showing them now and recording them this is a palm you don't see very often at all this is a needle palm Rapophidium uh, rapif hystrix and this is pretty much the hardiest palm you can get in its natural habitat down to minus 17 or 18 but in the UK because of the cold damp winters it's not as reliably hardy as that but thankfully we shouldn't see winters that cold where I live just getting some bamboo off that and this has got very nice dark green leaves it needs to be in shade to keep dark green leaves otherwise they go yellowish if they're in full sun so it's got shade from the yucca that's in front of it and the jubea as well it does sucker around the base and it's called a needle palm because we've got some extremely extremely sharp needles we're very wary of them they're extremely sharp and vicious so that is the needle palm you don't often see that in the uk extremely slow growing so it's not a palm to choose if you're just getting your first palm tree but if you're collecting palm trees it's an interesting one to go for because it likes damper conditions as well and it likes shade that's a good one to go for and behind that this blue leaved plant it's not a yucca it's a nulina and it's got more delicate leaves not as sharp but it will grow similar to a yucca in a big rosette and this is probably needs more space than I've given it here here we have a chemerops humulus and this was in a pot well over 10 years and the pot broke so I decided to plant it out I think last year or a year before I cut the root ball in half and it survived and it's not sulked at all nice and green it's looking better in the ground than it did in a pot and it's continued to grow and it's looking very happy indeed behind that i've got some foxglove trees polonias those have appeared this year they've come from the roots gonna dig up the main plant which was just behind there and these have just grown from the roots basically left behind so it's got to one and a half two meters without me even trying that's come from the roots and then along the side we've got one two three waggy palms very stiff leaves on these beautiful trachycarpus palms really hardy good wind resistance and they look very happy here so that's my front garden don't often show it hope you like the mix of palms bamboos and yuccas so everything's completely green and happy and evergreen and looking good in summer and just as good to be honest in winter so thanks for watching join me next week where i'll be doing more in the garden